So today I thought it'd be really fun to talk about some of Ulta's top rated products that they have listed on their website currently. Um, I kind of wanted to make it drugstore friendly because I know a lot of you guys love these drugstore videos and whether or not you love drugstore or you don't like drugstore or maybe you're just looking for a really good deal, I figured this video would be kind of helpful. So some of the filters that I put on myself were that the ratings need to have at least 100 ratings um, just because there were a couple of products that you know had only three ratings but they had five stars and I thought that wasn't kind of fair. Um, and then there were products that didn't have ratings at all because maybe they were too new or they'd never been rated. So at least 100 ratings is what I went through and I just kind of looked at you know anywhere between four to five stars. We're gonna get started with product number one. So product number one is a product that I cannot find in my collection. Maybe it's in one of my purses. I tend to switch out my purses so much so I feel like every time I get a new purse I'm like oh I was looking for this. It's probably in there. Um, but it is the Essence All About Matte Fixing Powder. At the time that I checked all this information it had 363 reviews so this product is actually one that I really do like three dollars and 99 cents I think this product does a really great job I actually own one from Mac that is a very similar powder to it and I prefer the essence one over the Mac one the other thing I like about it is that you can apply it with a sponge or a brush I normally like to use like a really small kabuki and I'll just kind of you know blot my skin and then I'll press it onto my face and I'll be good to go. The next one we have here, which I actually do have, is the Essence Matte Bronzer. So this here retails for $4.99 on the Ulta website. It came with 331 reviews and it has four and a half stars. So the one that I have is in 01 Natural. I really love the pan size on this because you can get a really nice fluffy brush in here. Just kind of swirl it and then swirl it and buff it into your skin. It's not super heavy and it's not super, super pigmented, but it's just pigmented enough. It's not gonna look harsh at all. This is a really great powder. I think it wears really nicely on the skin. For the price point, again, for $4.99, you can't go wrong. There are some really great gems from Essence. I just recently did a full, like, face using Essence products and fell in love with a lot of their products. So if you haven't dived into the Essence line, you definitely should. Same. The next two we have are by the same brand. I'm actually not surprised that this is in here. I expected to have these in this video. Um, so when I saw it, I was like, that makes so much sense. This here, the first one we have is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear. On the Ulta site, it retails for $14.99. It has four and a half stars and it has 2,128 reviews. Not surprised. I expected this product to be there, and when I saw it, I was like, I knew it. It is a good foundation. I think it really does a good job with a majority of skin types. Definitely, I think it's more formulated for normal to dry skin, but I think even if you were oily or combo skin, this would actually be a really good one for winter time when you are just a little bit more dry and you just need a little bit more hydration. I also think it would be a good foundation if you wanted to pair it with maybe a foundation that was just a little too heavy for you. I just talked about this in my latest video. I just did one called drugstore found drugstore products that I liked and I purchased but I won't repurchase again. And in that video, I did talk about this product being a great product. I loved it, but I'm just kind of over it. I just don't really care for it anymore and I'm ready to let it go and try something else. And I see why there is the hype for me personally. I'm just kind of over it. I'm ready for something else. There is another foundation that I like a little bit more, which is actually the Pro Glow from L'Oreal. And that one got amazing ratings as well. Um, but this is just one that I said, okay, I'm done. And now I want to try something else. I've recommended this to a lot of my friends and my family and stuff. And they all seem to really enjoy it as well. Okay, so then we move into from that we just move into the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. This is the 24 hour concealer. It's got the coverage to it. It's just got a great formula and it's not super heavy, which I think is why so many people love this concealer. I talk about this all the time when I speak about drugstore products, but I feel like it used to be where you would have to spend a little bit more money to get a really great product. Drugstore makeup to me used to be kind of like the, oh yeah, like there's a good foundation here and there and there's some good products here and there, but if you really wanted some good, good products and some good coverage, 
you would go over to the higher end section and pick it up. But now I feel like there's so many great, great products coming out from the drugstore. You don't need to spend all that money. And this is definitely one example. Another high end rated one was the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Uh, this one had 610 reviews and it retails for $6.79 and it had four and a half stars. So this one you can get for, at Ulta, I feel like this is a little bit more higher priced because if you were to go to like, let's say Walmart or Target or even um, the grocery store, you can usually find this product for about $5. And I know that because for years, I was obsessed with this powder. They have a great Fit Me line from Maybelline. That is like hands down one of my favorite drugstore lines to play around with. And this Fit Me powder is amazing. It has definitely got some coverage to it, but I feel like it's one of those powders that has a buildable coverage. So I was actually really excited when I saw this product in there. So, so many of these products that I'm featuring are definitely products that I have raved about here on my channel so many times. The next one we have is also by Maybelline and it is their Master Chrome Highlights. These here are $8.49 on the Ulta website and they got four and a half stars and these had 314 reviews. There are quite a few different ones from their line so definitely check them out. But I have this one which is Molten Glow. This is what it looks like. It's definitely a true gold and I like that one but I don't feel like I use it anymore as much as I use this one which is shade 250. This is hands down like my favorite drugstore highlighter. This one is so soft and creamy and it is like a true white highlight. It definitely feels very luxurious on the skin. It doesn't accentuate texture, but it is definitely more for those of you guys that want more of a blinding highlight. If you want something a little bit more lighter, something a little bit less, you know, out there, one that I would recommend if you don't like those bright highlights uh, would be the ones by Catrice. Catrice makes some really great ones that are more softer and more like soft radiant highlights. Those are the ones I really enjoy as well. Next up we have is by e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Um, this one actually had four stars and it had 677 reviews. So what's funny about this one is I actually really enjoy this, but I prefer the L'Oreal one just a little bit more than I actually like this one. This is a really good concealer as well. Super full coverage. It's definitely got that same feel and consistency, but I just find this one to be a little bit more hydrating. I like that e.l.f. did come out with a hydrating concealer also, so it gives you two options to choose from. So again, if you tried this one and this wasn't your cup of tea, try the hydrating one. I've heard really great reviews about it already, but I like this one. I like to use it to clean up my brows, which is what I use today. I actually have it underneath my eyes today. It's a great concealer. Uh, I didn't look at mascaras and like eyeliners and brow pencils and stuff like that because mascaras for me, there are so, so many mascaras in the drugstore. I could make its own dedicated video on some of my favorite drugstore mascaras, but that would, that, that literally would have to be a video on its own. So just whenever it comes to mascaras, you can find great drugstore mascaras. Like you don't have to find, you don't have to buy high end mascaras. Unless that's your thing and you already have one that you love, definitely try out drugstore. Drugstore is where it's at with mascaras. Another foundation I did miss, which I don't have, pains me to say, is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. So I do have this one, but this is actually my girlfriend's. Um, and this is the dewy and smooth one. It's not the one I use. I used it on her and then I forgot to give it back to her. Um, but this is for normal to dry. So they do make one for normal to dry skin and then they make one for oily skin, which is what I use. Same thing with their powders. They have th that Fit Me line does have like one for normal, one for oily skin. So you can find your skin type in that area. Fit Me rated with four stars. Uh, 3,461 reviews and it came out to $6.79 on the Ulta website. The first time I tried it, I fell in love with it. If you want a really good foundation from the drugstore, I definitely recommend trying the Maybelline Fit Me. It's just one of those products that you probably don't hear about it anymore on YouTube or social media as much because there's so many foundations, but it is a really great staple foundation to try out. It is my abs one of my absolute favorite foundations. I recommend it all the time because number one, it's like only $5. So if you don't like it, you're not out a bunch of money. And number two, you can return it. And number three, there's a really great shade selection and they also make it for normal dry skin and also for oily combo skin. So I just love that line, you guys. I can't rave enough about it. I was only going to do face products, but I actually ended up going into 
eyeshadow palettes. I was surprised by just how few eyeshadow palettes I ended up pulling out into my um, video. I have three eyeshadow palettes I'll talk about. The first one we have is the Everyday Eyes palette. This here got four and a half stars and it retails for $10.99 and it had 141 reviews. So funny enough, this was one of the palettes I had every single one and in my eyeshadow palette declutter, I ended up taking and donating all of them but one. This one here is their more cooler tone palette. This is called their Must Have Naturals, but they make this palette in so many different tones. Pal the reason I love these palettes is that they were compact. So if you are somebody that travels a lot and you just need something to throw in a really small bag, this is gonna have everything you need in here. It's gonna have highlight shades, it's gonna have a crease shade, matte shades, um, a lid shade, a black or a really deep color to really intensify the lash line. It's perfect for travel. It's perfect for the everyday girl that just wants a small, compact eyeshadow palette. I just can't get enough of these palettes. They're just amazing. Then we move into the Wet n Wild Color Icon palettes. I was not surprised. This I actually was scrolling through because I was like, I know these are gonna be in here. These here retail for $5.99. They were four and a half stars and they had 135 reviews. Wet n Wild really kills it when it comes to eyeshadow palettes. They really know how to create color and play around with stuff. They're always coming out with new eyeshadow palettes in here. Another one that I really do like, if you like more colorful shades, is the Boo Crew. I don't know if they have this one still, but I like it. It has those deep blue shadows in here. If you guys are really big fans of the modern renaissance and you guys want to dupe for it, this one here I think is a really popular one. This is called Rosé in the Air. I want to say this is one of their more popular ones. But to me, this is like a perfect dupe for the um, modern renaissance palette. Can I just take a minute and tell you guys, I love this sweater so much, but it sheds and like throws out these little like dusties all over the place and they get in my eye and I've washed this sweater like two or three times I don't know what else to do but it's it's getting in my nose it's getting everywhere <laughs> we're gonna finish off with the Maybelline nudes wear so this one got 541 reviews and it it retails for $11.99 I was kind of surprised by this I just recently picked up this one which is the nudes of New York this is very new like I think like within the last couple months. So I did a review on this, but this didn't really have that many ratings. And I had the black first one that they had. And I was really surprised because I did not like that palette. I found that it had no color payoff to it. It really was like patchy and the dark shadows just were like really blotchy and stuff. It just wasn't a great palette. So from there on, I didn't try on any of the other palettes, but you guys let me know if those palettes worked out for you guys and what your thoughts are on them. So I just had to throw that out there because I was kind of surprised that that was in there. But this is um, a newer one that didn't have a lot of uh, reviews on it. But I definitely can see this moving on up because this is such a great palette. Like this is definitely the formula that I think Maybelline should stick to. I've been very, very pleased with this palette. So you guys let me know down below what you guys think. Are you guys in agreement with these products? Like do you agree with the ratings and... Let me know down below if there's any other product that you think should be added to this collection. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Let me know if you guys wanna see a high-end version of this, like maybe doing it through Ulta, even Sephora. Let me know down below your thoughts. I love you guys. I will see y'all in my next video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.